Hello everyone, it's Patty. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm coming to you with actually a DIY a little instructional video on how to transform one of Simply Gilded large sticker albums or albums into a B6 traveler notebooks. Now I have received several requests for this type of video because if you follow me on Instagram or, or you are a subscriber, you've seen how I have done this before. I have done this for several um, plans Planners. This was my fall planner and then uh, um, earlier in the summer I did this one which is still one of my favorites and this was my last one which was my fall um, my Halloween setup which I did for the last week of October so um, as I mentioned this is actually uh, a sticker album from Simply Gilded and this is a brand new design that will be live on the website today so don't miss it and I really want to use this for my November setup last year I did um, uh, you know a setup for December which was in the Buffalo check I'm in love with Buffalo check I just love everything black and white like this I think it's very cute with pastels for um, the winter and uh, so I'm um, check out my channel for next week I will have a full setup but in the meantime let me show you how if you want to replicate the design if you want to use your um, existing sticker albums uh, and turn them into a b6 uh, how how you can do it so again this is the large size and uh, so when we open it up it has all these sleeves all these inserts so the main Issue number one is to uh, remove uh, the uh, plastic sleeves. There are two rivets here and uh, this rivets can um, be removed using a variety of tools. Now, I have found that these pliers um, that I have in my stash actually stolen from my uh, son's uh, <laughs> little caddy. So these are super helpful. You can use other tools, but um, if you don't have this type of pliers, and I also, um, this is the first time that actually I am using it on camera. So let's see how they work. But if you don't have this kind of tool, you can also use some kind of uh, cutters. You can use even scissors. Um, I have these jewelry tool making kits. The, um, this also work as well. So let's try first. So basically what we want, we want to separate the top bit of the rivet from the bottom. So these are pretty large rivets. So they may be a little hard. So you want to go around and just really press hard. And I think that after you do a little bit of pressure in the middle piece, there we go, the rivet just comes off. So that was actually, um, you know, really, I'm glad it didn't, sometimes when you do things on camera, they don't work out. So let's take out the other one because clearly we wanna use, uh, um, we need both of them off. And if you do it this way, if you cut it actually across the bot, you know, through um, the base first, you won't damage the back of the album, which is vegan leather. So we definitely do not want to uh, damage that. Now this one is giving me a little more of a hard time. Okay, so so guys, this is not going to work actually. I don't know why the other one was so easy. So I'm gonna take my cutters out and get a little deeper in there because this should be able, there we go. Oh, that flew. So this cutter saved the day. So sometimes, you know, a tool works. One time, it may not work the other time. And wear glasses in case these things fly off in your face. So uh, this is the insert, you can discard them, you can use them for something else. They actually will make really cute pockets that you can use in something else. So yeah, definitely don't discard them. So now we have our uh, cover, you know, that is ready for our traveler notebook. So if you wanna use uh, um, something to cover the holes, uh, you can use breads, which is what I do most of the time. But if you've seen my Halloween setup, I have used the grommets, uh, which are super cute. If you have it especially in some sort of special design, I have some in my stash that will work wonderfully. There's this cute little snowflake uh, if you're doing a winter setup or this little pumpkin, which I may actually turn um, this into after I do the video, just because putting grommets in it requires more noise level but you'll need a hammer you'll need a tool and a hard surface to hammer them in but basically you put them through the hole on this side on this side you'll see the two little you know kind of the metal edge uh, coming through and then you just hammer it really hard but just for the sake of this video we're just gonna use two brads and you can find these brads I bought mine on 
I think I got these on Amazon, but they have tons of them at Michael's. They have them in different colors. I love to collect actually cute breads. It's just, it's just a thing. I just love cute breads because I use them a lot in my setups. So here we go. So now we have the two holes covered. Now we have to create basically the holes here where we're gonna apply, uh, what we're gonna insert our um, elastic so we can put in our inserts. So the first uh, uh, thing we need to do is where are we gonna cut our holes? Now to, in, to kind of like have like an easy way Okay, where did I put it here? Um, to figure out where our holes are gonna be going. First of all, I always do three holes because I like to use um, three inserts and then maybe sometimes I add a little patch in the back. And uh, I'm gonna use this uh, uh, traveler notebook, which is gonna help me to figure out where I am going to, um, you know, how high or how low the holes are gonna be. Now, the the holes here for the ground, the rivets already give us a good middle, um, you know, that's gonna be our middle spot. So I usually line up my uh, B6 insert to be kind of like in the middle here. And then all you need is something really uh, sharp or a pen. In this case, I think I'm gonna use a pen just because it's easier for you guys to see it. So I'm just gonna make a little hole here and a little hole here. And to tell the truth, I never measure whenever I do this. I kinda eyeball everything and so things are never exactly perfect, but just for the, you know, for help, since you guys probably want exact measurements, <laughs> <laughs> I, I will have measured everything out. So now that I have the center hole, um, I'm gonna have to do one hole on this side and one hole on that side. And basically the distance between the center hole and each side, uh, side, you know, hole to the side, left or right, is 3 8 of an inch. So I have this little, oops, oops, my washi, let me move my washi for a second. Super cute, but not practical. So I have this little tool that my son gave me and uh, I'm gonna just put it over here. So I'm, that's already measured to three eighths. So I'm gonna do three eighths here, three eighths there. Again, it doesn't have to be exact. I promise you it will work just the same even if you're just eyeballing it like I do it all the time. I have a problem with prepping. It's not my forte. I'm the one, the person that, you know, paints the wall without ever doing anything <laughs> or cuts without measuring. So now I have my three holes and to cut the holes you can use something like this which a lot of you may have to cut holes in belts or this little hole punchers. I find this to be easier so I'm just gonna go over and make my three holes easy peasy. Now one thing is that um, yeah, of course, I have not even done, even measuring, they're not even even. But in any case, um, one thing is uh, you cannot, I know some people may prefer to have the holes a little more, um, you know, further apart from, e from each other because that way they can have thicker inserts. Um, just keep in mind that this is a very small cover. What I'm saying is that the, the spine here is not that thick. And so you cannot really put a ton of it because the spine is not an extra large spine. So it will not allow it. Now, next step is we're gonna put our elastic in. And for elastic, I buy my elastic on Amazon. This is the last one I bought and it's super pretty. And this is two millimeter elastic. If you search for two millimeter elastic on Amazon, you'll find tons of options. But for the sake of today's, not for the sake, but for today's video, I am using the white one, which is another one I got on Amazon and it lasts me a long time. I use it for basically most of my, um, you know, setups and you're gonna want to cut a piece of elastic that it's about 34 to 35 inches uh, uh, long now the first uh, if you have one of these uh, little um, little tools that came in the, the um, Foxy Fix, uh, uh, you know, little kits, then whenever you could buy on Foxy Fix website, these kits to uh, rewire or uh, restring your 
your planner it came with uh, one of these needles uh, and so this is what i'm using because if you have a, a smaller hole it's easier now especially when you're going twice through the same hole so let's start by putting threading the elastic we're going to thread the elastic through the middle hole so from the back and it's going to we're just going to pull it up until it just kind of teach it reaches there and then i'm going to put my little needle and if you don't have it that's cool on my other end of that elastic so it's nice and secure and I'm going back in and I'm gonna go thread my needle through the far right bottom and I'm just gonna pull it through I'm gonna pull it through now I'm gonna go through the uh, top hole here and uh, there's plenty of uh, instructions on um, YouTube on how to do this by the way so this is not something I came up with and then you're gonna go in through the middle this is just a standard way to restring a b6 and then I'm gonna go in now through the middle one where I have already the original um, string so this is when it gets a little tight so it does help if you have one of these uh, uh, needles if not you can even push through it with a pair of scissors and then I'm gonna go back out here on the left side, pulling it through. You wanna kinda make sure that it's nice and tight. And then we're gonna go in or through this top one and then back in through the middle one. And we are set. So now I don't need any more this nice little tool. So let me remove it. There we go. So now what I need to do is I need to uh, just uh, do a quick um, a little knot, tie a little knot here. Normally what I do is I do not tie this knot too tight because I kind of want to wait to see um, if uh, I'm going to have a lot of uh, um, you know inserts etc or not but um, so you can keep it kind of loose in the beginning. Why can't I tie a knot? Okay you can keep it kind of loose in the beginning and then go back and you can always um, you know tighten it later no as I said so as I said 34 to 35 inches will give you some room it's better to cut it a little longer and then have some room because when you cut it too short then you can go back in and add more which I have done plenty of times so I speak for experience from experience so then you can just try on and see how your traveler notebooks look inside and as you can have room for four usually I use three and the last one can be for um, you know a little pouch you can attach but here it is guys so this is how I turned my um, sticker album large sticker album from simply gilded into a b6 traveler notebook and I may have a separate video coming on how to uh, attach these jumbos which I have attached to my uh, sticker albums if you are interested I can have that as a separate video I was actually not planning to add a jumbo on this one I just like it simple like this but let me know if you have any questions by sending me a DM at planning fencing on Instagram and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel I would love to have you hope you have a wonderful weekend